quickly dive on deep to this story regarding DSP. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys hate DSP and it's really annoying, but this content for me is amazing. So I'm going to quickly go through this story because I think this robbery story des deserves some attention onto it because it's absolutely insane how dramatic, how pussified, how much of a baby and how much of an exaggerator DSP is. This story is not about being robbed. This story is about his groceries going missing in the store because he left them for too long but he spins it as a robbery story so let me just play it for you i beg of you please be patient with me and listen to this story it's absolutely insane but i promise you you'll be entertained it makes absolutely no sense so this is um courtesy of the one and only dsp tries at memology big up memology always out here serving the people it's this one dsp tells the story of him getting robbed Let's just watch the story together. I, I beg of you. You'll see what I mean. It's absolutely hilarious. This guy is unbelievable. Let's get the sound going. Just just you wait. Just you wait when it loads. It's fucking hilarious. Just you fucking wait. Just you wait. Phil, your days are done. You, we know that you've been committing tax fraud... And we are going to get you. Ha ha ha. But on today's show, I have to tell you a story because, ladies and gentlemen, I have been robbed again. That's right. Two times in one year. And I'll tell you the whole story. In addition to that. By the way, please also know, preface this, he made a big, he made a big to do about this. He had his day off during the week. He has these specified days off where he goes and takes his horse to fucking shopping and shit and buys all these groceries and whatnot. And he made a tweet on that day, in the morning, I think, saying something he got robbed. Left it up, obviously. Let people speculate as much as they wanted to. Drummed up all the fucking hype around it, right? Because people like myself are hoping he got fucking pistol whipped, but that didn't happen. And then, of course, when he comes back to stream, he's still fucking hyping it up. And he's still stressing the fact that he got robbed. Just listen to that language. I got robbed. Listen to the language of him getting robbed and hear his story of how he got robbed. Ah. There is some good news, so I'd like to share that with all of you. You're going to die? I'm sorry I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I totally don't believe you. And usually I come back yeah. on the day after my day yeah. off, and I have a little segment where I tell you all about it. Well, today, <clears throat> I got some stuff to tell you about. Now, just so you know, Listen, no, it's nothing this? absolutely horrible. Everyone is safe. It's not a big deal. Everyone is I safe. I said as much last night when I posted up on X and also on the community page of this channel. Look I him said, hey, us. story to tell you tomorrow. I basically got robbed again, right? And then what happens is... Look at him gaslighting the audience. He's the one that tweeted on his day off, the day before he streamed, I got robbed. Purposely drumming up hype. A bit of a clickbait thing. Everybody speculates what happened because he doesn't update it. He doesn't clarify what happened. He then comes on stream and stresses, I got robbed for the second time this year. And then he's now getting annoyed that people are speculating and making up scenarios of what happened. It's like, bro, you're the one that created this drama. Of course we're going to be speculating on it. It's fucking dark side feel. You always fucking lie. You always obfuscate. You always fucking, you know, talking in, in vaguenesses. Of course we're going to fucking speculate. Is when I say stuff like that, people absolutely freak out and blow it out of proportion and just make shit up. I can't stop Ugh. people from doing that, but... I tried to tell everyone right up front, it's not a big deal, everyone's alright, but people are stupid and probably hyped it up overnight anyway for no good reason. Calling us stupid. Um, <laughs> there's nothing I can do, but I'm going to tell the full story today on the show, as well as some, like I said, some positive updates to offset the nonsense, alright? So, <clears throat> I never noticed he had a big lisp, actually, to offset the nonsense. He's got, he's either got a really big lisp or he's got one of those fat tongues that fucking, um, what's his face got? Um, that, um... What's it called? Brenda shorb has got like an inflamed tongue or something. I never noticed he has such a big lisp. It's going to be a pretty good uh, show today and a pretty good streaming day today. This schedule now is looking much better now that we kind of figured it out. Um, and the future is also looking bright past this week's schedule. So we'll talk all He's about that on so today's show. Much. But I think that's something you always have to get used to as well. The rocking and the swaying as he's fucking streaming. Like it's like he's moving every single moment, right? Like, God, it's just like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Are you redacted? 
<clears throat> what we should do, right? Let's just get this elephant in the room, out of the room. Because I like having room in my room. And when there's a giant elephant in the room, he takes up all the room of the room. I, if I, if it didn't happen to me, <clears throat> I actually wouldn't believe it. So I'm going to tell you the story of what happened to me yesterday. Please do. And you might not believe it either. Hurry I don't up. blame you if you don't. But this is actually the state Look of... Look at the snort sacks. Look at the state of those fucking snort sacks. Look at those massive jowly snort sacks, mate. Can you imagine the amount of gunk that's in those things? Jesus, this guy's 41 years old, actually. He looks legitimately like he's 60. Fucking hell, DSP. Open the window, bro. Get some vitamin D or something. A bit of sunscreen. Maybe get one of those, you know those little things people sell? Those, those foil little sheets so you can sunbathe and get some rays in your face. Like, do something, man. Even, I'm sure you can get some, I'm sure there's some, LED, I'm sure you can buy a fucking portable sunbed or something. Those tanning ones that you can have in your house. You know what I mean? Those things that fucking Joe Rogan sleeps in. I'm sure you can have one of those things and toast yourself up a little bit. Get some life in your face, man. Like, fucking hell. He looks like a piece of A4 paper. Of things where I live. Okay, this is how bad things have degraded to the point where it's it, the life is nonsensical at this point. Okay. Yo, big up the stream chat, big up the rinks, big up Uche, Wagwan, my G, Sarlux, Brandon, Alejandro, I see you, I see you, Leg uh, Logos Focus, sorry, I see you, Dude Guy, Yami, I see ya, Corey, I see ya, Wagwan, bang your fucking doors, smash your fucking keyboards, bang your fucking mouses, smash the side of your fucking headphones, you know what I mean? Let's go, bro. Okay, so here we go. You ready? So yesterday I went out during our day off and it was another day at home. Uh, we Because we actually have uh, coming up, we actually have quite a few days coming up where we're going to have to have lots of appointments and things. Okay. So we've decided to have a string of days off where we're going to stay home uh -huh. and relax. Okay. And then we're going to have our string of days where it's, it's like several weeks where we have to go out every job. week to do a bunch of shit. Playing computer okay? games is so stressful. So, you need to relax. <clears throat> mm -mm. Nice. This was into the microphone. one of the situations where we were staying home, okay, but I had to go again. out it's to run my outside. errands. Okay, awesome. All right. Yep, now, errands. what errands do I run? Yeah, Typically, errands? grocery shopping, oh, wow. pet supply what shopping, pet supplies, odds and okay. ends. Sometimes I go to the garbage dump. Oh, my you know, God, the sometimes garbage dump. Sometimes we'll have ordered something from a store, and I go and I pick it up or something wow, like that. You go pick it up all depends. Orders, all right? It all depends on that stuff. That depends. And I didn't know that. Leading manual ban. Basically. To be fair, I have to give him a lot of credit. He's really good at this. He'll t he's talking, and at the same time he's talking, if he, sees a sh if he sees a comment he doesn't like in the stream chat, he leans in and bans the person without even breaking, without having a pause in his sentence or in his thought. He can just continue talking about what he's talking about. Ah, oh, fucking Skyrim, Boulders, whatever gate, uh, whatever, whatever game he's talking about. Lynx, I hate fucking Zelda. Street Fighter, he's talking about it. And as he sees a comment he doesn't like, like stop begging, grow up, um, get a job, you fucking waste of space, whatever he sees the comment, he'll lean in and ban the person without even pausing. It's actually quite, a, it's, it's actually a little weird talent of his, I'm not going to lie. Um, You know, it was not any day out of the ordinary. In fact, He's I was still saying to my wife, wow, this will probably be a quicker day. I don't have too much. Oh my God, you have a wife. No way. This guy has a wife. Honestly, if you're a guy out there and you've got low self-confidence, look at people like Neon, that streamer on Kick, right? That Asian or Indian dude. And then look at fucking DSP. Those two guys are like super clapped, right? Immensely ugly. So if these guys can get women, obviously one has got like a paid for OnlyFans girl in Neon. But if Neon can get a girl and DSP can have a wife and Wings can have a wife and even Boogie has a fucking girlfriend, even though she's probably underage, if they have girls, you should not feel inadequate. If anything, the thing that you need the most is just confidence. It's never about looks with guys. Weirdly enough, we have the unfair advantage in that regard when it comes to, you know, um, when it comes to the art of seduction. It's not never really about looks. It's more so about confidence. So it doesn't matter if you've got a big boil in your head, you've got a massive nose, you've got these big jowls or these snort sacks in your face. If you carry yourself like a baddie, girls will like it. And they'll respond to you. Because if this fucking ugly beast can have a girlfriend, you can too. Okay? Keep your head up. Much to do today. 
So this should probably be a day where I'm in and out, you know, within maybe a couple hours. I have everything done. Oh, wow. And then I could come home and we can relax together. I have a relax nice relaxing again. day together. Because we didn't have I too much to do relax. at home either. It wasn't like a day where we have relax. a million things we have to do. A million things. Ah, can... Like taking out the garbage. Like cleaning on the, throwing away the paper plates. Cleaning the plastic plate. Actually, I would like to just be said, for my American style um, viewers in the stream chat, I know you Americans love to use paper plates. If you use paper plates, do you then have plastic forks? Or do you have like regular forks, but you just have paper plates? What do you do? Because I know some Americans hate to wash up. So do you have paper plates and plastic forks? Or paper forks too? What do you do? Let me know. You can sit back and relax and watch some some stuff together, order some food, maybe have a drink tonight. You know, we're, we have a nice relaxing day together with the, with the family. It's nice. Nice. So I went out. Uh-huh. And I, I did all my errands. Yep, you did your errands. And the last thing I got to do is grocery shop. Grocery shopping. Okay. okay, the big <clears throat> one. The big one. It's like climbing Kilimanjaro, bro. It's fucking crazy. So, so you know, first yep. of all, What's one up, thing bro? about grocery shopping these oh days. Oh, my God. You remember when I said in one stream chat that I think I've got undiagnosed ADHD because I go on my weird little tangents. I'll be speaking about one thing. Then when I'm speaking about one thing, there'll be a little thread that takes me that way. Then in the process of searching that thing, there's another thread that takes me that way. And then this way and that way. You remember I said that, right? You remember I said that? Yeah, cool. All right. DSP is on another level to me. He's like Usain Bolt to me when it comes to that sort of thing. He's talking about a story of him getting robbed and now he's going to be talk. he's going to meander about some topic about shopping and about when fucking Target was fucking first founded or whatever fucking grocery store he goes to. He really does never stick to the fucking story. That's why he just meanders and just fucking fluffs up the gaps for no reason. I fucking hate him. Yo, big up Doxy the Flow. What's it saying? Have you always streamed this much? Yeah, brother, man. I'm always out here, man. Always streaming. Look at my tab, man. Look at my channel, man. Click the tab. You see the streams. You see the numbers. You see the fucking consistency. You see the face. But you know how it is on YouTube, innit? They're trying to hold a black man down, man. You know what I mean? They're trying to hold us down. They don't want us in the algorithm. They don't want us on your homepage. They don't want us going viral, man. You know? Did you know a black man invented the internet? Of course you didn't know. Of course you didn't know. A black man invented the internet. A black man invented broadband. Did you know that? A black man invented monitors. Do you know this phone, this logo, was designed by a black man? It's Apple. Apple from the tree. Adam bit the tree. The first people on the earth. Who were they? Black. Of course. From Egypt. Enough said. Days. And this is like everywhere I go. All the carts are always fucked up. I don't know why, but almost every cart that you get at any grocery store is completely fucked up. None of We were kings. We were kings. <laughs> black squares, man. Where are my black squares at, eh? Hey? Them go straight. They're all, they all, like, fuck the, 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 you know, get fucked up. <laughs> so, it's just a chore grocery shopping to begin with, especially when you're you're loading up. This week, we actually had to get some extra stuff because Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving? Is there, like, a different Thanksgiving? Why is he saying American? Look at that face. Fuck, you know, a face only a mother could love, innit? He legitimately is so fucking ugly. Hold on. Um, Thanksgiving. In different countries. Thanksgiving is a national holiday celebrated on various dates in the United States, Grenada, Canada, St. Lucia, Liberia. And unofficially, countries like Brazil and the Philippines. Oh, no wonder, bro. I've I've always fucking had a, a a little bit of hatred for Philippine for Filipinos. Anyway, you know, when I was in school, all the Filipino guys used to bag all the girls. It used to fucking annoy me, man, because they had they had that nice they had that nice Asian complexion, but they were kind of tall and big. But they had really funky Spanish names. Some of them could speak Spanish. They could dance. They could play basketball. Some of them could sing. It was impossible. If you had Filipino boys in your school, in my area where I grew up, it was impossible to get any action from the ladies. They fucking killed it, bro. They could speak different languages. They could dance. They could sing. Like... Oh, I fucking hate the Filipino guys in my school, man. It was so fucking lit. <laughs> they were so lit. I swear to God, they could. Yeah, exactly. They can fight as well. They were family orientated. Like they all went to church. Super religious. So nice guys. Like super nice guys. Damn, the Filipinos got it in. But yeah, hmm. So fucking. So you know what? 
Thanksgiving isn't even American. What do you see on this list, by the way? Huh? What do you see on this list? I want to see the black flags in the fucking chat. What do you see in this list? I see a couple of black countries there. Grenada, St. Lucia, Liberia. I wonder where the United States took the fucking Thanksgiving from. United States took my ancestors from Liberia, from St. Lucia, from Grenada, took them on slave ships, and they stole not only their bodies, they stole their tradition of Thanksgiving. It's a black holiday. We were actually kings. <laughs> we were really kings, you know? We were really kings. Is next week, next Thursday. So there's some, a lot <laughs> extra things that <clears throat> that I need to get uh, for Thanksgiving and stuff like that, right? So, uh, you know, this is I knew it was going to be a heavier shopping trip. Heavier. Be more stuff than usual or whatever. Uh, heavier by the shopping way, trip. <laughs> for full disclosure here, uh, I do use reusable shopping bags. Do you think he knows how, do you think he's aware of the English language and how to use certain phrases and words and shit? Why, why does full disclosure, I use reusable shopping bags even mean? Full disclosure, I use reusable shopping bags. What? What are you meant to, like, huh? <laughs> what, what kind of detail is that in the story? <laughs> full disclosure, I did wear some shoes on my way to the post office. <laughs> I used to not, and then basically right before the pandemic. Oh hit, my god, uh, bro! I the meandering of these reusable. I love this guy. He picks his ear, picks his eye. He's flicking all over the place. Shopping bags, and what I found is, man, it's easier when you got your groceries in your cart in a minute. Oh, he's 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 virtue signaling. You think, Eric? So like, he's trying to say he's saving the environment. Like, full disclosure, I'm a big fan of Greta Thunberg. So I use reusable shopping bags. I actually buy official Greta Thunberg shopping bags from her online store, actually. Your house, having the reusable bags just makes it easier. Oh, you know, yeah. A lot of people say, oh, it saves the environment. You can believe that if you want. I really don't give two shits because I really of don't. Of course you don't give two shits. All you care about is people giving you money. You don't give a shit about anything outside of that snort fault. Feel like my impact on the environment using shopping bags is that big. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you this, it is way easier carrying your groceries I love his little boomer shirt as well. I love his little boomer shirts, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing screams boomer than these, like, you know, fucking NPC ass shirts. Fuck, fuck out of here, man. Turn that shit into a pillow or something or throw it in a bin. No one wants to see that shit. He's around with reusable shopping bags than it is with those shitty plastic ones, okay? So, I have a bunch of them, you know, and I have different. By the way, he still hasn't told us how he got robbed. Different kinds. I have, like, the ones that are, um,. They're more like a plastic, almost laminate feel. No way you're going to pig explain us the fucking composition of a fucking reusable shopping bag. Cling to them and they're kind of durable. You put your regular groceries in there. Uh -huh. But then I have a couple yeah. that are like the heavy insulated and they have like like uh, like box sides almost. Oh, so the ones you take to shoplift. <laughs> Is that the ones you're talking about? The shoplifting ones. Does that actually work, by the way? I remember people doing that a lot in London. All the shoplifters would use reusable shopping bags and then line them with aluminium foil. Does that actually work? Or is that just some, like, crackhead thing? <laughs> you see them coming in and, like, jacking stuff and having these shopping bags with, like, aluminium foil on the inside. Or what do you guys call aluminium foil? You call it something else, don't you? What do you guys, and in America, what do you call it? Um, uh, American, what is it called again? American for aluminium foil. I think you call it something else, isn't it? It's, it's like a phrase. What is it? I remember I saw it somewhere. What do you call it? Tinfoil. <laughs> Why do you call it tinfoil when it's not made out of tin? Uh, why do you call it tinfoil when it's not made out of tin? Huh? Please. Tin for, for tin foil hat. Okay. Do you, do you wrap your fucking um, tater tats <laughs> with, with tin foil? <laughs> and I have like two of those. And those are really, really good for your like cold stuff. You put them in, you could zip it up and it keeps your stuff nice and cold. Nothing, you know, melts in your trunk or anything like that. Oh, you don't want anything to melt in your trunk. And um, I just bought those earlier this year. I believe off of Amazon. 
So some of these are on the older side. Many some of these are. Oh, I love that logos. When I have a rough month, I think I'm going to try that. You can walk through shaking the item and the alarms don't go off. I saw it on the video. I like that, bro. Just shaking. Or do the old <sighs> over over the over the fucking barriers. <sighs> <laughs> Nice and natural. I'm just stretching, stretching my hand over the barriers. <laughs> They're many years old. These reusable bags. I've been using them again since like pandemic era, and then others are more more newer bags. So, <clears throat> just for clarity purposes, because I want you to have the entire perspective of of what happened. Mm. Okay, got my shopping cart. Okay, I got my reusable bags uh -huh. in front of me mm -hmm. in the shopping cart. Mm -hmm. There's actually a a drink caddy in the cart, oh my and my phone God. fits perfectly in there. So what I do is I have a list. That, yo, that's a boomer thing, isn't it? Like, he has a little shopping cart he takes with him to the fucking supermarket. And he has a little phone thing in it that he puts his phone in. Fucking hell, bro. App. In my phone. App. And App. I App. use that to track what I need for shopping. Yeah. And I usually just pop my phone right into the the drink caddy. The drink caddy. And I check caddy. off on my list as I'm grabbing stuff and putting it in the car. Check yeah. it off, check it off. And yeah. that's how I shop. Yeah. Pretty convenient. Pretty convenient. So, yeah. Okay? Mm. So yeah, I I'm a, you know my normal day I start normal usually, day, uh, uh, usually in the produce get the, the produce, produce out of the way uh -huh. and then I move into the store you know you go from the dry goods into oh the, my the, fucking god hurry up and get to the fucking point you spang other stuff and the cleaning supplies meats uh -huh. and then you finally get to like the dairy yo big up Eric C what going <laughs> Manchester is blue blue heart blue heart oh. blue heart trophy trophy trophy. Yeah, 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 whatever. Big up, Eric C. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for the super chat, as always. You're not going to trigger me this time, all right? Because you usually trigger me very well, and I go on, to my, I go on a nice 20-minute rant about the Glazers and about United. I'm not going to bite. I'm not going to go on that rant. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to speak about the fact that the 25% ownership deal has not got through yet. I'm not going to speak about this unsubstantiated rumors about Sheikh Jassim coming back. I'm not going to talk about this weird media propaganda about Luke Shaw coming back like he's a fucking savior. I'm not going to talk about this apparent rift between Rafael Varane and Eric Ten Hag and now it's extended to fucking Casemiro. I'm not going to talk about fucking Rasmus Hoyland being injured and not being able to play and Martial wanting out but then he's going to be depended on. I'm not going to fucking talk about Pelestri or also be maybe slightly injured i'm not gonna fucking talk about it okay i'm not gonna talk about it but thank you eric c <laughs> Harry and the bread and everything so normal day nothing crazy i think we got pumpkin pie because we want a pumpkin pie for thanksgiving so i you know that's an extra thing um you know some rolls i'm mean, we're freezing so that we can actually have some rolls on thanksgiving some rolls some rolls Honestly, bro, how boring is this man's life that he has to fucking give you an itemized play-by-play -play of his fucking shopping? Like, oh, God, man. I I just... The only thing that I hope in my life... I don't hope for a lot, right? I'm a very modest man. But when I see people on those... On the public freakout subreddit on Reddit, and I see people, like, arguing with their neighbours about the parking space, about their kids making noise, about some kid playing in a park, God forbid, and it's some old boomer person r r like being really angry. All I think to myself is like, I hope when I'm that age, I'm not that person because I think it happens to you overnight. You just turn into this grumpy old person. I hope I'm not that person overnight. And the other thing that I hope I'm not is a DSP, a person that's so boring, that has no life, that you have to tell people online about your shopping, your weekly shop, about rolls that you bought, about tinfoil you bought, about your fucking shopping cart and your fucking reusable bags. That to me is a nightmare. Forget not having money and all this shit. That stuff, you can, you can work it out, right? You don't need much to survive or to enjoy yourself. We can all figure that shit out. I just don't want to be the grumpy neighbor that complains about the kids playing in the fucking backyard. And I don't want to be a fucking DSP who's fucking giving you a play-by-play -play about their fucking shopping cart. God damn it, this is depressing. Stuff like that, you know, cranberry sauce, bought cranberry a couple sauce. Of cranberry sauce, yeah. in addition to our usual meals for the week. Meals. By the way, this is a shorter streaming week, which we're going to oh talk about later in the show. God. It's only a five-day streaming ADHD, week. ADHD, we don't give a fuck, my day off to be fuck, Wednesday man. next week to do my shopping before yeah, Thanksgiving, because okay, yeah, I don't want to be out shopping yeah, on okay. Thanksgiving Day. True, Thanksgiving um, Day. 
Yes. Small so again. we'll talk about the schedule in, in uh -huh. a few minutes here. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so as I'm shopping, I just you know, it doesn't seem like it's anything of a little bit of an <laughs> abnormal day or anything. Maybe there's a few more people in the store because it's no urban style people there because, you know, he hates urban style people. No urban style people in the shop. So he feels safe <laughs> before thanks American Thanksgiving. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's anything weird or anything. No, nothing weird. So. Mm -hmm. Basically, Basically, I'm shopping. It takes me about a half an hour, oh I would my say, God. to grocery shop. You're still doing so I'm this. finally at the end of the shopping Yes, trip. you're finally at the end. My car is almost, you know, packed Oh, it's to the packed. Top, it's rimming. And it's I've got a few things bulging, left. I've got like a skip. bread. Bread? Wow. Uh, a few dairy things I need to get. What kind of dairy? And... Oh, it was the cranberry sauce. Oh, that's yeah, right. Cranberry it was sauce. the cranberry sauce. Wow, how can you forget that? And, you know, that's something I don't normally buy. Uh -huh. Right? So it's on my list, and I didn't know where it was in yep. the store. Uh -huh. <clears throat> And I'd gone up and down the aisles, and I hadn't seen it, which is a little weird because uh -huh. the week before Thanksgiving, and I can't find the cranberry sauce. Okay. So typically what happens is what happens? you can't find it in the aisle, and it's something for a holiday. It means they, they idiotically put it on an end cap. Like, they probably have, like, a... Idiotically. Look at how he's fucking just insulting the store. Idiotically. So he has this infinite knowledge of how to arrange a fucking supermarket. Idiotically. They're not doing it on purpose to annoy you, DSP. You fucking Wally. What's Sarlacc saying here? Tin foil was made um, with thin leaf tin and sometimes combined with lead. Aluminium foil is made from an alloy that is 92 and 99% aluminium. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So there was a time when tin foil was made out of, out of thin tin leaf. Okay, fair play. Um, big up Sarlux for that one. I also learned about tin foil from TikTok. Did you see that TikTok that was going viral? Allegedly... The side you're meant to use to keep your food warm is the shiny bit, not the matte bit. I didn't know that. I've only found out in the last few days, and I've been doing it all the time now. Allegedly, the the shiny bit is the one that's meant to go, that's meant to have the contact with your food. That's meant to be the one that's keeping it quote unquote warm, and then the matte bit is the one that's gonna go on the outside. I had no idea. Literally had no idea. I saw on TikTok. I was like, <gasps> brain fucking explosion highlighted area of the, the of the store where it's like on the front of a, one of the aisles okay but the dumbest thing about that is What's dumb if you're it? shopping where are you looking for the item where it should be in the aisle oh well we don't have it there now we have it only on the end cap because it's the holiday then how are you supposed to fucking find it oh shut you didn't put up, it in the aisle it's supposed to be in. but that's just stupidity, stupidity. right you're just dumb isn't it? <laughs> right and they do this all the time i don't minor know. inconveniences turn into fucking battles he's so fucking idiotic but why would they think that they're smart or something right like you. So anyway. Yes, go on. I am in this area uh -huh. where they have like refrigerated soups, uh -huh. um, dips, dips, hummus, dips. stuff like that. And yeah. basically the only thing left, like I said, to my if, to, if I went a little bit to my right, there was the aisle with some dairy-like cheese and there then there was bread. Dairy-like cheese. What is a dairy-like cheese? <laughs> Isn't cheese dairy anyway? Or not? How can it be dairy-like? <laughs> so that's all I had to do to finish shopping but I, it hit me I was like oh man I gotta get this cranberry sauce cause uh -huh. I'm gonna grab it now I'm gonna forget about it I'm gonna right? forget about it just go grab yeah. it I, it's gotta be on an end I gotta get it guys I gotta get it I gotta, gotta forget about it why are you talking about it like he's one of the lads bro this is redacted yeah, right so I'm not stupid alright I grab my phone to uh -huh. make sure I don't leave it in the cart cause man I'd be a fucking moron if I left my expensive phone in the car. I wish somebody would grab that phone because that phone must have so much evidence in it from WWE champions to emails and texts with dents to arrange tips and donations and shit. It's probably full of so much stuff in there. I wish somebody would fucking grab his phone and absolutely rip it to pieces. That would be so good. That would be a great day in Detractiverse. I've gone down from the rafters. Okay. I consider this the newest day and gone. I've gone down from the rafters, right? So I grab my phone, I put it in my pocket, and I said, all right, so I'm going to be walking away to grab cranberry Backing sauce, away. come right back, then push the cart to the end aisles and finish my shopping trip. Now, you might say, well, why did he not take the cart with him? Because like I said, the carts in these fucking grocery stores are junk. They barely work. My cart's full. So why am I going to push my cart across the entire store to look for cranberry sauce just to push it back to where I was to shop again. So you're too lazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This adult male is too lazy to take his shopping cart from one end of the aisle to the other end. 
because there's too much of an inconvenience. But to be fair though, if you've seen these arms, DSP is like, have you seen that meme or sorry, that um um I think that AI image of that person who's meant to look like the archetype of a streamer, you know, in many years in the future. And it basically kind of looks like DSP. But one thing I noticed about that streamer is that they got really skinny arms, right? And literally, DSP has no muscle mass on his arms. It's quite freaky. He's quite a pudgy, skinny, fat looking dude. But his arms are literally like sticks. And that comes from doing absolutely zero zero not even exercise he just he just refuses to use his body in any way outside of just moving his fucking thumbs and his fingers and he's you know he's what his Salvino thumbs and his fucking fingers on the on the fucking control pad so he's probably actually pretty weak even though he's a you know a pretty normal looking dude quote unquote he's probably incredibly incredibly weak so it's probably quite tough for him to push that cart around the shopping mall so he can't afford to so he's got leaves it at one end gets the thing comes back while he's holding his back like an old lady and then puts the stuff back in there i'll just leave it here for a minute right now why on earth would anyone think that something would happen yeah happy. right yeah. so yeah i literally walk away from the cart yeah to find this cranberry sauce. Why, why do you I find timed it? it actually. I timed it actually. It was two minutes. That's a lie. Who who walks from a who takes who leaves their car and then goes quickly get something and then times it? But I, I could believe him. Is that the tism kicking in? Could you have that level of tism where when you leave your shopping cart, you pull your phone out and you start timing your steps? How what? Like who does that? Two minutes, I found Two the cranberry minutes. sauce on an end cap. There yeah. it is. Yeah. I grabbed it. Grab All right, it. you got the cranberry sauce, yeah. right? Mm. I turn around. I come back. Yeah. I was not gone for longer than 120 uh -huh. seconds. I come back, Lab and there's no cart. No cart. And I'm looking, and I'm like... I'm like, what? Oh, uh, someone must have moved it. Maybe yeah. I was blocking something that someone wanted, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So I start looking around. You're looking around. And I'm like, okay. Where and I, then I think to myself, you know what? Where is he? It's probably over one aisle over. I'm probably misremembering where I left this car. I thought yeah. I had left it right next to the hummus, you thought, but maybe I left it in the, the next hummus. aisle over. Okay. I look over there. There's nothing there. <clears throat> look, keep looking at the chat. Look at him. He's like a fucking shark. When he smells the tips coming in, <laughs> free money, 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 subs, money, memberships. Look at him. He's like a fucking, he's like a dog waiting for his owner to come back from work. Like, he senses the, look at, what's going on there? <laughs> right? And I'm looking all around and I'm like, huh? Huh? What is going on? What's going so on? So now I'm starting to think, yeah. all right, maybe an employee yeah. grabbed the cart thinking it was Could an abandoned be? cart from a customer that had just decided to leave right yeah but i'm thinking no the employee wouldn't think that i got my reusable shopping bags uh-huh in the front of the cart yeah and by the way again i gotta reiterate these are not brand new reusable shopping bags these are not valuable you know you can buy these online for a few bucks this is not like oh my god there's a two hundred dollars of shop of fucking bags in this oh my god he's drinking gin cart or anything like that it's it's <laughs> nonsense it's nothing of any real value uh -huh. right uh -huh. So I really start just looking around and I'm like, so now in my head, I'm thinking, uh, could someone have, have been like, yeah. I mean, it's an elderly person and they're yeah. just confused Maybe. and they grabbed my cart because they're just, you know, who knows what it could be. So I said, I'm going to walk corner to corner. Elderly style, <laughs> elderly style thief in this store, by the way. So I have cranberry sauce in my hand. Uh, yeah. Because that's all I have. Because yeah. I went to grab it. I was going back to the cart. That's all I got is cranberry sauce. Off. Right? So I'm like, I'm going to go end to end in this store looking up every aisle. All right? All right, let's do it. So I start walking and I look down every aisle. And I realize as I get to the end of the store, it's not in this store. Oh, shit. It's like someone, when I went to grab oh, cranberry sauce, off. grabbed my cart and walked out the door with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thief, isn't it? It's the thief. That is the thief. Are you kidding me? It's the fucking thief. The thief just came by. Look at this. Now, I want you to think about how weird this is. Okay? First of all, no, I didn't pay for my groceries yet. 
So it's not like, oh, I got robbed of, of, of you know, hundreds of dollars or anything like that at all. But didn't you say you got That's robbed? That's not the point here. What did you get robbed from then? The point is someone just took the cart, right? Remember, he started this off by saying he got robbed. So if you didn't get your shopping robbed, what did they rob from you then? Your reusable shopping bags. Is that what you're saying that you got robbed of? What really did they steal from me? The reusable bags. Is it a big deal? <laughs> no. This guy's a fucking cunt. Remember, he put a tweet up on his fucking Twitter on his day off, however many hours before his next stream, saying, I got robbed. And then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> I love DSP. He's fucking the best. DSP. DSP. Oh, that was fucking brilliant. I fucking love that.